In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use Adobe Express for free to create your own collage, highlighting what makes you unique. Teachers and students can make an account for free. For instance, you could use your Google email set up by your school. And since it's for education, you would select company or school account. My opening page might look different than yours. You can see some of the latest features on Adobe Express highlighted at the top. Scrolling down, you'll see the different types of projects you can create, various templates you could use. And at the bottom of your screen, you would see any recent projects. Here are mine. We want to create a custom artboard, so click this plus sign on the left and choose Custom Size. If you plan on using this as a header for a Google Site page, for example, I suggest using 1560 by 800 pixels for a cover banner. If you plan to print out your collage, you can make it the same size as a sheet of paper. So that would be in inches, 11 for the width, and 8.5 for the height. And you can just use this size since it is the most familiar to us. And then you will click Create New File. Now you have a blank artboard for your collage. You can click here to change the color of your artboard, AKA the background. Click on this drop down for more color swatches and click on custom to make your own color choices. You can use this slider to make the color more transparent and you can add a specific hex code if you know one. Click in the blank space to close that panel. Adobe Express offers a variety of fun templates that can serve as great inspiration for your projects. However, using templates may limit you to a specific number of photos or a particular scale. The same consideration applies to grids. They're useful for creating collages, but I personally prefer the flexibility of moving my images around more freely. There are two ways to add your own images. You can click Upload and then locate your photos on your device, and you can click Media and upload here. You can resize your images and position them around the artboard. Under media, you can also look for images provided by Adobe. You can search here by typing in an object like books and you can click on that image to add it to your artboard. But if you can't find an image you like, you can also use Adobe's text to image AI feature. Let's say you want a stack of red books. Text to image will create a few choices for you. So this image I like, but it looks more like clip art to me. So you can change the content type and I'll pick photo and then click generate on the bottom. And I think that one is better. So upload all of your images and position them around your artboard. I'll speed this up to save time. Remember that you'll use the corner handles to resize your photos by clicking on the circles in the corner and adjusting. To organize your images as to which are on top of other images, you right click on the image and then you can choose to either send that image to the front or send it backwards. With an individual image selected, I'll choose the image of the books. You'll get this options panel on the left. There are some fun features here like removing the background, for example. I think that looks pretty cool. You can also erase part of the image or fill in part of the image with something that wasn't actually there. And here you have text to image again. Down here is the crop tool, very handy. Clicking on this allows you to crop out parts of the image and there are preset crop shapes as well. Let's check out this diamond shape. When you select a crop, you use the squared off handles to change the size of the shape. Clicking on the dots in the corner of the image, you can resize and move the image within the shape. These are two different things, so you have to pay attention to which one you're clicking. To apply the changes and accept the crop, just click off the image. Choosing a different photo, I'll show you the rest of the panel. You can change the opacity of the photo to make it more transparent. Blend modes are interesting if you have a photo on top of another or on top of a colored background, but most of the time they won't be very useful in this situation. You can also flip your image along the horizontal or vertical axis. Set the image as the background covering the entire artboard or apply effects, adjustments, and animations to the picture. Above the selected image, you see here that you can replace the image with something else. You can also get to the crop features here, delete the image, and these three dots give you more options as well, such as placement of the images. 
If you're not sure how to organize your images, you can select them all, and then in the Options panel, you can click Collage, and Adobe Express will create a collage for you. You can use the same tools to adjust the settings and adjust individual photos as needed. But I'll undo to go back. As you've been working, Adobe has been auto-saving your collage. You can click on this text in the upper left and rename your project. I will rename mine All About Me Collage, but there's never a need for you to hit save. Back on your home page, you can get back to this project by looking under Recents and then clicking to open your project. Once your images are organized the way you like, I've skipped ahead and positioned mine already, come back over here on the left and click on text. We'll start by adding our own text. You can click on this circle with the arrows to move the text and the handles with the corner circles to resize the text. Pull out the text box to have it all on one line. Select the sample text and type in your own. This collage is all about me, so I'm gonna start with the phrase I am a dot dot dot. In the options panel, you can make lots of adjustments to your text. I won't demonstrate each one, but I encourage you to play around with the settings and personalize your text and then position it where you would like in your collage. I do want to show you one feature, so I'll add another bit of text that describes me. I like to volunteer, but I'll add an adjective before the word and I like alliteration. So I'll say that I am a vibrant volunteer. And now with this text box still selected, I'll click on text effects. There are some sample effects that you can use like the gold here. Or you can again use AI to have a specialized effect created. So it's turned my text into zebra stripes. Pretty fun. It's a little difficult to read though, so I'm gonna go into Elements and then Shapes, and I will use this ellipse shape as a background to my text to make it stand out a bit more. Click back on the text icon and you can choose from these pre-made templates. They are completely editable, though you might have to ungroup them first to edit them. You can click on the different components and change them up as you wish. I'll have this one say that I am a agile artist. And you can change the colors of the individual words. You can even change the colors of the icon and move that into place. I'll demo one more feature, adding another piece of text, typing Brave Backpacker. Then choosing the color for this text, I'll show you that you can use the eyedropper tool to select a specific color from one of your images, say this orange, and it will load that color into the text. I'm gonna continue adding more text and I'll speed this up. I am trying to have unity in my collage by using mainly pink and purple tones, but you can choose any colors that you like. Finally, I'm going to show you one of my favorite things, and that is elements. There are lots of great choices for adding assets, backgrounds, shapes, icons, and I'll choose this heart shape just to demonstrate the fact that this icon you'll see has a fill color and a border color. So I'll choose this orange and purple. It also has options for the border as well. Let's say you want to add a frame to your collage, and you find some frames here under design assets. Unfortunately though, you'll see that I'm struggling given the size ratio, the frame might not work. See how this one is getting cut off and I can't seem to get it to fit. Instead, the trick is to use shapes to add a frame to your image. I'm gonna go to rectangles, for example, and pick one. I will drag it out and you can see it has handles on all four sides. So now you can adjust it to fit the size of your artboard. Over here in the options panel, you can go to fill, swatches, and click the red strike to get rid of the fill. Voila, you now have a frame. And you can use the border options to personalize it even more. If your frame is on top of your images and you want to move it, just right click and choose to send it backwards. Last feature I'm going to show you is how to add a preset text to add my name in the bottom of this image. So you can see here that I can click individually, make copies of these little signposts, change the letter, and I have created my name, which I will put down in the bottom of my image. When you've got your rough draft done, click the download icon. Here you have three choices. You have a PNG, which is best for graphics. So if you're gonna use this as a header for a Google site webpage or put it anywhere online, I would choose PNG. 
A JPEG is great for photos and a PDF is great for printing. If you're not sure, just download it as a JPEG. That's very universal. And then click to open the JPEG so you can see what everything looks like. It's a good idea just to look at your work in a different space to critique it. Then go back to Adobe Express and make any adjustments or finishing touches. You can download a final copy. You can also share or post it using these options. And that is how you create an all about me photo collage using Adobe Express.